Hey guys, and welcome back to The Upper Hand. If you've been following us lately, you know we've been doing our taping trend for different diagnoses and conditions. So today we wanted to just show you a quick trick for scar mobilization using a small piece of tape. So this is not necessarily diagnosis specific, but it's something that we think that you could use in clinic really quickly uh, on a wide variety of patients. So let's get started. So if you have patients with a scar on the dorsal side of the wrist or hand, so you know that you run the risk of having some scar adhesions on the extensor side of the uh, wrist and hand that would cause limited flexion. So we're going to show you a quick little trick today with a very small piece of KT tape that can help loosen some of those scar adhesions. All right, so we're gonna take our piece of tape, and with this one, it really doesn't matter how you do it, but we found it's easier just to kind of tear a middle portion out. And so your end result is gonna look something like this, and you can even do it a little bit wider than that. It's fine too. What you want to do is kind of fold that on top of each other so that your tape is sticking together on itself. So it kind of looks like you've got two little flaps here with the tape stuck together here. So we'll go ahead and tear the rest of that off on both sides. Okay, so you end with something kind of like this right here. Now if you want that a little more um, if you want that a little taller, all you got to do is just stick it a little bit more. The main thing is you just want to leave a little bit of tape that's going to actually stick to your patient. So let's say for Dylan here, we're really having some hard, uh, a hard time with his EDC and the scarring right in here, especially around the extensor retinaculum. So we're going to place that kind of right around that, or right on either side of it. You can do it right on top of it. it. Really, You can get creative with this. You just do it wherever you, your patient really needs it. And now that you've got that good and rubbed in, I want you to kind of watch this scar here. I'm going to pull this way, pull this way, and you see how much that skin is moving and that scar is moving with that tape. All right, so here, here's another view um, of us kind of pulling each direction on that scar. So... Another good thing you can have your patient do is kind of pull and have them bend at the same time. So go ahead and make a fist and then I straighten up for me. So you're basically gliding in the opposite direction of whichever way those tendons are going. So I'm kind of pulling it um, back towards his elbow when he's going into a fist. And then when he's straightening, I'm kind of pulling towards the end of his fingers so that your scar tissue and the tape that's kind of lifting up on that um, tissue is kind of going opposite of one another. So we can try to break through those scar adhesions. Hey guys, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. We hope you learned something today and that this was helpful to you in some way. So you know our goal for this channel, The Upper Hand, is to give you guys the upper hand as you seek to better understand conditions of the upper extremity and just all topics related to occupational therapy in general. So please take a second out of your day, make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel so that you can be sure that you're going to see all of our upcoming videos. Thank you guys so much and we'll see you next time.